Risk markets have taken notice of the Doug Jones victory in the Alabama state election, with Jones securing the first Senate seat for a Democrat in Alabama since 1992. Jones squeaked out a victory that gives the Republicans an even tighter 51-49 to 49 Senate majority, further complicating tax reform passage. The victory also is a shot to the Trump administration as it cast doubt on the president's ability to push future policy through as well, while giving the Democrats momentum into 2018. The president is already scheduled to address the nation later today, and his address will take on added meaning as he tries to do what he can to push the reform through before year end. The market's reaction has perhaps been a little more subdued than one might expect, seemingly on caution ahead of today's Fed decision. Moving on, there will be risk in the UK today with the UK House of Commons voting on the EU withdrawal bill. The vote is expected to pass, though there is a lot of resistance from conservative Tories who believe the PM is moving in a direction that is far too soft. All of this comes ahead of tomorrow's EU summit, where the market will be looking for the go-ahead to be signaled so the two sides can progress on to trade and transition talks. As far as the rest of the docket goes for today, it's a busy one out there with Germany CPI, UK employment data, Eurozone industrial production, Eurozone employment, and an important US CPI reading all out ahead of the Fed decision. Earlier today, the Australian dollar got a boost from a jump in Aussie Westpac consumer confidence. That's all for now.